I'd like to invite Joshua Charney up to the stage. I'm going to play on this one as well. And, uh, and uh, I read an interview with the great uh, British rapper, uh, Roots Manuva. And in it, he, I thought he really beautifully described what it was like growing up in a West Indian neighborhood of London in the uh, early 1980s. And one of the things he talks about is how the Jamaican kids would, like they had done in Trenchtown in the early 70s, or the Bronx in the early to late 1970s, would set up their homemade sound systems on the street corner. And they would be this tall, and they'd have huge speakers, and they would just try to pump the music as loud as they could to compete with the sort of din of city life, you know, the bustling, the cars. And Roots Manuva talks about how he would go, and it would be so loud out that he would watch the speaker go. You can just imagine it going in and out, and in and out. And he said every once in a while he would feel his pant leg shake, as if the air was just pushing it past. And he said, of course, his mother would never let him go any closer than that. Uh, but he was fascinated by that, and that's what kind of he says that's what drew him into music. So I started looking at the score, and instead of it looking at it as black on a white background, I started looking at it as white on a black background. And imagining the object, the object that Earl Brown was talking about is that speaker, and it's behind the white. And the white is sort of the sounds of the city. And this speaker is just moving, and every once in a while, it just managed to push through. A little bit here, a little bit there, as that speaker slowly dies, as that kid's $100 that he just sunk into that sound system goes up in smoke, the speaker's just trying, trying, trying to push through. So that's what we're thinking about when we're doing this.